Using a Raspberry Pi mini computer, uh, running the Falcon Pi Player software, or the Falcon Player software as it's now called, is one of the most popular ways to run a Christmas light show. Hi, I'm David from LearnChristmasLighting.com, and in this video, we're going to begin setting up a Raspberry Pi with FPP. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps it takes to get started with this thing and show you uh, using the, the fresh, completely fresh, you know, just bought Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set this up so that you can use it in your display. Now, uh, before we get started, be sure to subscribe here and, and like this video if you enjoy what you see. And again, I'm going to begin from the basics. Now, if this is your first year, um, I don't necessarily recommend using a Pi. There's pluses and minuses to it. It's definitely um, a little more complex on the setup. But then again, it, it's totally hands off once you get going. So let's dive into the computer and start working with the Raspberry Pi. All right. So the very first thing to installing FPP is to go ahead and uh, download for yourself, links below, the latest version of FPP. Um, we want to download the program Bellina Etcher on PC or um, the Mac software called, um, oh, what is it called? Apple Pie Baker. And then also the um, formatter program as well for formatting the SD card which we can find from the Falcon Player Manual website. It is the SD card formatting tool. And going ahead and downloading uh, and following the instructions right here on the Falcon Player website. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So the SD card tool actually comes into a, um, a zipped file. You unzip it, and then you have this to set up, just like the Bellina Etcher. Then we'll set it up and then we'll run it. In this step, we're going to basically overwrite whatever, um, however the card was formatted to begin with, whether you used it before or not. Um, it's just a good step to do. You may not have to do this out of the box, but I'm going to. And so it says here in the instructions, just to follow it here, um, set format size adjustment. We want to first select our card. Good, we found one. Da, 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 da. We want to label it. Um, I'll just call it FPP. And then it says to go to the options menu, which we don't see. It's right here. We don't seem to have that. So you know what? We're just going to overwrite the format <laughs> and press format, blah, 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 blah. Let it do its thing. And then when it's done, all right, so we're done with that. So now let's go ahead and use the Etcher program to actually put the uh, the image onto the card. So what this is doing, basically, I'll load the Bellina Etcher here. I will go select my target. It found it automatically. Um, I will flash from file. I will go find what I downloaded in downloads here, which is FPP dot image dot zip and then press the button let it go there was a windows pop up there you may or may not have seen and now we wait again do 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 boop 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 up in just a few minutes it will be done i promise all right then we get the success message so once we get that it is time to close the programs and uh, go ahead grab the card out of the computer uh, safely eject if you're on a mac or whatever um truth be told if it's not doing anything. I don't know if it matters that much. Grab your pie. Pie, pie, pie. And I will put the card in. Doo, 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 doo. Boy, it is dark in here. <laughs> put the card in. And then we can power the thing up and uh, we'll plug it into our home network first. So this is where it's really going to depend on your show network. If you have a different router for your show network, it's already set up. It's already good to go. Plug into that, connect to it, and uh, we'll do the configuration from there. If you're going to do it on your home network or you just don't have your show network set up yet, then do this on your home network. You'll see some lights light up on the Pi, and then we get to go to the address fpp.local on our computer. Ta-da! For some reason, the first time especially, it seems to take a little longer. It took probably a minute to get going. 
Um, and then you're connected. Woohoo. And so that is about all we got to do so far. So the very first thing is that you see this thing right here. SD card is on use space. Go to advanced settings. Um, and so basically all this means is that the default installation basically caps the size of FPP. It, it makes it only about the size of the actual installation. And that was, I think the design behind it is just so that you could use a really small SD card, like four gigs and run FPP. But now, I mean, even a 32 gig card is like, so cheap. Um, you know, it's like under 20 bucks, probably about 10 these days. Again, they fluctuate that, you know, they change over time. So, you know, that shouldn't be a problem. So we just go in here and we, sc we scroll down to, uh, da -da 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 -da. storage device. And then we go to grow file system, press okay. Then it does this thing. We'll just let this go. And it'll reboot. It'll do everything it needs to. There it says, please reboot. And so you can go to the main status page, then press reboot, or you could theoretically pull power and, and redo it. Again, that 30 seconds or so to reboot, you know, this isn't a supercomputer. And uh, then once you reboot, you should be good to go. So with that, guys, that ends uh, part one of this video. We'll come back next week or uh, in two weeks, I believe, for part two, where I'm going to show you how to load sequences into FPP and just do some very basic control stuff. Of course, if you want more info, check out the full article over at LearnChristmasLighting.com. Com, and be sure to grab my free guide, Three Things You Really Need to Know Before You Start Your First Christmas Light Display. We'll see you there. Thanks.